Ah, the Nintendo Switch Lite, the portable handheld only Switch that's the cheapest, most affordable Switch model in the lineup. Compared to the others, this little console has always been severely underrated. It may lack some of the features found in the higher end models, but when you think about it as a dedicated handheld console, similar to the Game Boy, the DS, 3DS, and so on, the Lite excels big time. I've been using the Lite as my go-to travel console since the day it came out in 2019. During that time, I've switched things up no pun intended to the palkia and diaga switch light because it's drop dead gorgeous i mean who wouldn't want this thing but that's besides the point i've had a light since day one and i think it is the perfect grab and go console for a multitude of reasons in today's video i wanted to talk about my long-term experience with the switch light if you're thinking about buying a light or deciding which switch model to get this is the video for you and i do hope that you find it helpful if you enjoy what you see this is just a friendly reminder to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out the channel. We are almost at the big 100K and you guys make all of this possible. You are truly amazing and I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you who just tune in day in and day out. It really is crazy. So thank you. Thank you for everything. So as I mentioned earlier, the Switch Lite is Nintendo's smallest, lightest, and most affordable Switch console. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles of the regular Switch, but instead it focuses solely on portability. Nintendo is no stranger to creating portable consoles, so it's no surprise at all that this little console excels in that area. Not only is it tiny and pretty much pocketable, but it is also one of the most comfortable consoles I've ever held in my hands. Compared to the other two Switch models, the light here is a featherweight. This makes it great to hold in your hands for long periods of time, whether you're grinding to find a shiny in Legends Arceus or trying to make it to the next level in Kirby in the Forgotten Land. What's special about the light though is not only its size and portability, but also the fact that it has the the same internals as the regular switch and the higher end OLED switch. This means that games are going to run exactly the same on all three of these consoles. If you do decide on the light, you're going to get access to the entire catalog of switch games. So you're not going to be missing a thing. There are no exclusives in the switch line, but there are games like Ring Fit Adventure where you will need to buy a spare Joy-Con in order to play it on the light. So I've been taking my switch light around since it came out. It's been my travel companion. And another thing that I really love about this thing is that it works really well with my home Switch console that I leave docked to the TV. Thanks to the Nintendo Switch Online Save Data Cloud feature, I always have the latest save data file available so I can pick up where I left off anytime, anywhere. It's great stuff. I know some of you guys have always been curious about how two Switches would work together, and I can say from experience that they work really well. If you have a Switch now and want to get another one down the line, you don't have to worry. I have my light set as my primary so I don't always need an internet connection, and my OLED Switch set up as a second secondary. It's pretty easy to change that in the eShop settings too if I want to take the OLED switch with me instead of the switch light. Compared to the new high-end OLED switch, the light is significantly smaller and lighter. It is much more compact. Despite the display being smaller, it's still sharp, vibrant, and looks great. I've never had a problem with the display on the regular switch or the switch light. I've always thought games looked really, really good, especially for 720p. However, compared to that OLED switch, it's easy to wish that Nintendo would make an OLED LED switch light. Here's hoping. That's the dream right there. To start to close this video out, it is no surprise that I am a huge fan of the switch light. I'll always vouch for it and recommend it just like the 2DS that came before it. It's the cheapest way to dive into the incredible switch lineup. Since the first time I got to hold it in my hands at that preview event, I've been a fan. The switch light is an awesome little portable console that is perfect for those who see themselves primarily playing on the go in handheld mode and don't need all the bells and whistles of the regular switch or the OLED switch. So is it worth it in 2022? I think without question, yes. Like I said before, it is the cheapest way to dive into the unbelievable library of Switch games. And that in itself is a win for anyone who's looking to buy a Switch, especially now, like there's never been a better time to have one. Anywho, that's about it for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at Ray Strasis on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace.